So the first thing we have to do is to actually create a Google account. This will give you a free email. You don't have to use it. It's, it is one of the safest emails in the world. Um, but how do we go about it? You see this button sign up? You just sign up, you fill up these things here. You agree to Google terms. <laughs> you may even read them and you create your account. Then the next thing is to actually go to Google and type Google Sites and click on here. And this will take you to either an empty page if you don't have yet any websites. Either way, you can just click on Create. And there we are. So that's number one. Let's name our site. What will we call it? We could call it um, My Favorite Pup Albert. Um, I, I'm just trying to think of the most ridiculous name to ensure, but um, the site has not been taken as yet. Okay, so we will find out. So we just type this name here, which is A R S E R. Now, Google, well, whatever, we just don't care what template we're using at this very moment. We click Create. And we have this ridiculous domain here, my favorite Papa Albert. But um, OK, we're in. We have a website. So what's next? Well, what's next is very simple. We just need to get out from this ugly thing. It just looks ugly. The reason why it's short is because we have nothing here. But I just before we edit, before we do anything, I cannot look at this layout. So what we go, we, what we do, we go to more and we go to manage site. I'm not explaining what these things mean because as you go through it. Now, this is a trick, very interesting trick. Do you see how it displays the name of my website, which is the address? Now, you don't have to actually have a site name correspond with your address. Let's call it Anya Lyons Professional Pardon me, ePortfolio. And look at that. I'll go here, and there it is. So, really, what you um, decide to be your address and what actually you will call your website later on are two different things. You can call it however you wish. So, another thing we would want to do now is to check our permissions so public on the web where well, I'm happy with our websites to be public on the web because this is our professional portfolio that should be accessed by as many people as possible you can change the permissions by clicking on share okay so we go to more what do we want to do is to change this awful um, design into something more bearable so we go back again to manage site. You see here themes. We go to themes and we've got 3000 different examples. Actually, there's more. These are just the first ones you see. But if you actually here go to browse more themes, you will get more. Now I've got my favorite um, sites or oh, designs. Um, I'll just find it. OK, so in the end, I did click click on Browse More Themes. I went to School and Education and I found here, as I was browsing through them, the website pattern that I actually chose for myself. So I said Select. OK, that looks cool for me. Now save, always look for those buttons save. Every time you change something on your website, look for the button save, otherwise it's gone. Okay, did you see it said you have, your changes have been saved. Okay, go back to my site now. Now it looks really good, really, really good, we're happy. 
So what is the next thing that we need to control? What we need to control is actually the sidebar. So let's have a look how.